Would you say screenwriting is hard? Because I'm sure a lot of people could look at your story, they could look at your credits and you make it look easy in terms of, wow, that's a really cool story. Here you were 14 and you send this, you know, script idea off and although it's rejected and you don't know what the notes are, you still have this relationship that really shaped you in a lot of ways and I think it's a really cool story and not a lot of people probably have that opportunity. But is it is it hard because it, it looks easy yeah from the outsiders view. yeah it's 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 hard um it's it's always interesting because if I, sometimes if i if i have a story that i love and i've outlined it then it's just fun but when you're again when you're definitely trying to do a lot of things and get a lot of things like because you know again i'm at the point in my career now where i want to you know just branch out and tell you know still horror stories but like do something like the Lionsgate project which is is you know i think going to it's just a really important kind of thing that you've you know where you had to fight for it um it is hard because you want to you 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 want to write something that's going to strike a chord to people but you want to write something that's successful you want to write something that's going to spawn a franchise and and i've had you know for better or for worse for some of my films they've done really well and the other ones have, that were supposed to turn out well didn't quite turn out the way they're supposed to and went you know direct a video or didn't get a good release and you know there's so there's again there's it's you definitely have to stay in gratitude a lot of times and you have to find the joy in it all, you know, and the joy in writing. And I still love writing, especially when I'm, you know, if they're, if I'm writing something else and I get something just inspires me to like, you know, like, a, I hate to say a kill scene, but you know, like a kill, I'm like, oh my God, I've never, like, I just thought of a, a, a great scene for a movie that, you know, I was so excited and I called the producer about and he's like, was in love with it. And so that's the fun stuff, you know, it's like trying to come up with new, new things, but you know, it is hard to sit down in front of a computer every day and, you know, writing a hundred page script, you know, that's, it is, it is work and it's, and it's not, it's not easy, you know, cause you're, you're trying to write something that is going to be creatively satisfying. You're trying to write something that you think will sell cause this is your livelihood. Um, so you're trying to juggle both of those things, but not get too far down the road that you're not focused on the finishing the actual script, you know, so you've got to keep all those other things out of your or try to keep them out of your head about, is this going to sell? Is this going to make money? Are people going to like this? You know, try not to like focus too much on that and, and just get the script done. But um, that can be hard in and of itself. You know, it's not future tripping about, you know, what's going to happen with the script once you're done with it. So it's, um, it's fun, but it's not easy. It's not easy. I mean, there are harder, you know, it's always, it's like with actors, you know, because acting's not easy to be a good actor is not easy, but you know, you know, it's not like we're going into, you know, putting out fires and, you know, putting our lives in danger and, you know, doing like physically hard labor. It's just mental, it's just mental exhaustion. You know, it's a lot of, a lot of mental work. Did the screenwriting career that you envisioned look the same in terms of the day to day? Because you know how people have a romantic notion about what something is. Oh, yeah. They see it. No, not at all. Not at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, because you don't, you don't really envision with the writing, like, I, you don't realize how long it takes to write a script, first of all. And then, you know, like I, you know, I had a friend once who was like, oh, yeah, I just took a took a weekend trip to Hawaii and wrote my script on the beach with some Mai Tais. And I'm like, oh, that's what writing is. You just go off for a weekend and you write a script. And yeah, no, the day to day grind of getting, you know, two or three or four or five pages a day done is like it's a it's a grind. And then you've also got life that you're living and you also have to try to get out and have a life because if you don't have a life, you know, like. I'm kind of joking because we are, you know, writers are so very solitary, but, you know, I do go out to the movies and I do go out to dinner and I do go out and do stuff with my friends because otherwise if you sit at home all the time, you're not experiencing life. And so then you can't bring anything else to your scripts than what you've already experienced. So you're just kind of regurgitating the same experiences that you've had. So you've got to kind of make sure your cup is like flowing over with other things besides just work, but you have to take time out to do that too. So in terms of what most people would envision, like, you know, you're at the keyboard and you've got a, well, no, not a drink, but, you know, some people, in, you know, they think that that's part of it with the cigarette and just like this torture oh, of existence. Oh, and, yeah. And you're pounding out all, and then, then this thing is beautiful in it. But it sounds like it's, it's, there's more of a science to it and it's not just. There's a science, but for some people, again, everybody has a different method, which is, is very interesting. It's like, it's like with acting, like you have your method actors who have to be like, you know, they have to become the character and they have to, you know, you have your other actors who, when the camera, when the director says, 
you know, rolling, you know, then they just, they, they go and then cut, then they drop back into who they are. And the, I think there are writers that are the same way too. Like, you know, yeah, there's a stereotype. Like, that's why I quit drinking. It's like I was becoming that stereotype. I was sitting here drinking at home and, you know, thinking I'm writing some brilliant stuff. And yeah, the first couple pages were great. And then the rest of it's like, what the hell was I writing? Um, so, you know, you think, you do think that that's kind of, I do have some friends that, that do torture themselves without the drink or anything. They just, you know, it's like they obsess about every single line of dialogue. And it's like, you're never going to finish your script if you're like that. But again, that's how they are. So everybody's got a whole different process. And so that's why I always tell people, don't, don't judge yourself harshly if your process isn't the same as somebody else's, you know, because it really is your end result that matters. It's like getting that script finished. So you do obviously have to follow certain, you know, structural rules and certain, you know, your dialogue needs to be good. Your, you know, it has to be an engaging story, but sometimes it takes people a lot longer. You know, I've known friends that where it's taken them 10 years to write a script, you know, and it's not yeah. like they're working every day, eight hours a day on it, but you know. 10 years. Yeah, wow. I, have, I had a couple of friends that have like, yeah, I've been working on this for 10 years and, and it's great. Some of their stuff's great. And I've read some scripts where people have written a script in a week and it's great. Um, not consistently, but you know, <laughs> but it's everybody's got a different thing, and I think that's what's always interesting too. Is we always have our ideas in our head what everybody's life is like, and it's like, you know, even what you think an actor's life is like, like it their lives, you know, the celebrities' lives. I mean, they're, you know, they're like trudging into Starbucks with their dog and their kids crying and have to go change their kids' diaper, and you know, just like everybody else is, you know, like you know, so you. You definitely the uh, the glamour of Hollywood that they used to project and was so important back in the days of, you know, the olden days with the with the Hollywood stars, you know, which when it was like the stars ran everything and they had to keep up these perfect images. Like we've lost all of that now with like the internet and access to everybody's private lives. And you know, we see people now on the street. You know, people are taking pictures of people, and it's like, oh wait a minute, they're just like uh, you know, like that's even a. I think people or something has a whole thing like celebrities are just like us and it shows pictures of them like walking a dog and before that you thought these they were these magical creatures and you know you thought these writers were these like tortured you know sitting in a dark room like with a, you know just pounding away at a keyboard and sip you know sipping from their bottle of whiskey and you know cursing the heavens and yeah it's 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 different for everybody it's different for everybody but they're all at Starbucks I mean they definitely are, Coffee shops are full of star writers in, in California. That's definitely a cliche that you can't. That's one cliche that's true. It's like you can go every coffee shop. There's somebody's work. There's five people working on a screenplay at any coffee shop that you walk into. So it's pretty funny.